The Beloved the Bad Hadlaba. I was asleep, but my mind was dreaming. Listen, my lover knocks at the door. The lover to his beloved. Open for me, my sister, my darling, my dove, my flawless one. My head is drenched with the dew, my hair with the dampness of the night. The Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 2. Paradoxes abound in the Christian experience, and here is one. The spouse was asleep, and yet she was awake. He can only read the believer's riddle, who has ploughed with the heifer of his own experience. The two points in this evening's text are a mournful sleepiness and a hopeful wakiness. I sleep. Through sin that dwells in us, we may become lax in holy duties, slothful in our religious exercises, dull in our spiritual joys, and altogether supine and careless. This is indeed a shameful state for one in whom the quickening spirit dwells and it is dangerous to the highest degree. Even the wise virgin will sometimes slumber, but it is high time for all to slake off the bands of sleep. It is to be feared that many believers lose their strength, as Samson lost his locks, while sleeping in the lap of carnal security. With a perishing world around us to sleep is cruel, with eternity so near at hand, it is madness. And yet we are none of us so much awake as we should be. A few thunderclaps would do us all good. And it may be, unless we soon bestir ourselves, we shall have them in the form of war, pestilence or personal bereavement and tragedy. Oh, that we may leave forever the couch of fleshly ease and go forth with our flaming torches to meet the oncoming bridegroom. Our heart awakens. This is a happy sign. Life is not extinct, even though sadly smothered. When our renewed heart struggles against our natural heaviness, we should be grateful to sovereign grace for keeping a little vitality within the body of this death. Jesus will hear our hearts, will help our hearts, will visit our hearts. For the voice of the wakeful heart is really the voice of our beloved saying, Open to me. Holy zeal will most certainly unbar the door. O lovely attitude, he stands with melting hearts and laden hands. My soul forsakes her every sin and lets the heavenly stranger in. Amen.